Before we get started, I just want to take a minute to remind everybody how special each and every one of you is. You're a unique beauty, unlike any other, and I love you. Hey, baby. Long time no see. Wait, wait. No, don't walk away. Come on, babe. I got the old boombox out for you. I threw the pebbles onto the window to get you to look outside. You're living in all your favorite rom-coms right now. I know it's cheesy, but that's the kind of thing you love, right? Why am I here? Well, why don't you come down to the front door and let me in? If it were a true rom-com, I'd climb up to you, huh? Are you really going to make me climb all the way up there to your bedroom window? <laughs> it's like I'm sneaking into your room at your parents' house all over again. <sighs> all right, fine. I'm coming. I'm just going to put the boombox here in the bushes. <laughs> that thing is like 20 pounds. I'm not carrying it with me. You wouldn't happen to have something like, oh, I don't know, long, luscious locks of hair for me to climb up, Rapunzel style? No, I guess I haven't been gone long enough for your hair to grow that long, huh? How about a beautiful lattice of flowers and vines that I could use as a ladder? <laughs> Obviously not. Oh, come on, you can't even play along a little bit. Okay, how about an actual ladder? <laughs> the gutter it is then. Here comes the hero, climbing up to save his damsel. <laughs> you know, you could help a little. How? Just grab me and pull me in. I'm hanging halfway out the window. <sighs> wow, you're really making me work for this, aren't you? Now... Would you please come here and give me a kiss? So what if we haven't been together for two years? I came all this way for you. Wait, are you seeing someone else? Who? Who is it? Oh, you're not. Good. So you've got this whole big house to yourself then? You got a dog, just like we always wanted. What did you name it? <laughs> Rocky. You're hilarious. I thought you didn't like the Rocky movies. Too hardcore for you. Well, I guess you came around on them, huh? Well, can I see him? The dog. I mean, he is your dog, but now he can be our dog. Um, babe, I... I know I let you down back then, but please just give me a second chance. I just got released from prison and I came straight to you. That's right. I made parole. Now we don't have to do the long distance thing anymore. And you don't have to come visit me in prison and talk to me through a phone in the wall. I can actually hold your hand now. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't call first. I was just too excited to see you. And I wanted to surprise you. Come on, babe. Don't you miss us? Don't you miss dancing in the rain to your favorite jazz station, even through the stupid ads? Dance with me. Precious, that's right. Your hands around my neck. My hands around your waist. Just one, two, three, and spin, and then spin back, and then I hug you from behind, and I kiss your neck. Isn't this fun? You don't even need music to dance to. I've missed you so much. Are you really going to turn away from me now? After I came all the way here? Made the dreams from your favorite movies come true? Babe, I'm the Harry to your Sally. 
the Danny to your Sandy, the Han to your Leia. No, babe, please don't push me away. What do you mean you moved on? How could you just move on from us? Every single day I was locked up, you were what kept me going. You were the thing that made me want to change. So I changed for you. Isn't that what you wanted? I didn't work that hard to escape that prison for you to just turn me away when I came back. N no, babe, I, I didn't mean escape like that. I, I told you, I made parole. I behaved, I worked, put in a lot of effort to be here for you. It was hell, but it's all worth it to be with you. I can see it in your eyes, sweetie. I can see how much you miss me. And I can see how much you still love me. Even if you don't realize it. Let's start over then. Let me take you out on a nice date. Reintroduce myself to you as a free man again. I'll take you out to your favorite restaurant. And I'll take you out on a rainy day so we can accidentally get caught in the rain together. Precious, look at me. Don't you trust me? I'm, I'm sorry that I've broken that trust in the past. I was sick. I was deranged even. I know I hurt you, but that was never what I wanted. I just, I want to give you exactly what you want. You want love. The kind of love that runs after you in an airport. The kind of love that kisses you in the rain. The kind of love that dances with you even if there isn't music playing. The kind of love where we don't even have to say I love you because we just know. <laughs> I know there's more than ten things you hate about me, but at least one of them is the fact that you still love me. I'm a changed man, but there's one thing that will never change. And that's my love for you. Quick, close the window. No, get in the closet. Now. No, don't make a noise. I, I said don't make a noise. You feel that thing poking your back? Unfortunately, it's not me. It's a knife. So, shh. Damn it. The lights stopped in front of the house. I think they're banging on the door. I can barely hear it. Listen very closely. You're going to go downstairs and open the door before they break it down. And you're going to explain to the cops that I am not here, that you haven't seen or had any contact with me in the past two years, and make sure you say that you don't consent to any searches. Yeah, I'm going downstairs with you, but I'll be around the corner. Don't make a single peep about me, and it'll all be okay. You're smart. I trust you'll make the right decision. Just go downstairs very slowly. <laughs> That's it, precious. I was never here. No one needs to know that I'm here. And you don't consent to any searches. You just want to get a good night's sleep. Good job, Precious. Now, come here and give me a hug. Aw, you poor thing. You're shaking. Just fall into me. That's right. Oh, are those tears? There's no reason to cry, baby. Let me get those for you. Mm. I love the taste of your tears. Just cry into my chest and I'll hold you up. Just let your body go limp. No, I know. I know it was scary. Wait, what was that? Did you say something? You need to speak up, precious. I can't understand you. 
Why am I here? Well, sweetie, you know why I'm here. I'm here because I love you and I know that you love me too. And we're meant to be together. And I wasn't going to let a silly little jail cell keep us apart. It was a tough five years in prison and the last two without you were the hardest years of my life. But I've told you, I've changed. We'll run away together, change our names, and live happily ever after. And nobody will ever separate us again. Don't you want that, Angel? Don't you want that cheesy rom-com? Isn't this the kind of love that you wanted? Where I would do anything for you. The kind of love where we hate each other just a little bit but we love each other so much that it doesn't even matter. Poor baby, I think you're going into shock. But don't worry, I'll take care of you. Let's get you back to bed. Just collapse into me and I'll carry you up there. That's it, sweetie. Just stare up at me while your eyes cry silent tears. Just give your body over to me. Give your mind and soul to me. Become one with me. And I promise, no one else will ever touch you again. <laughs>